Uh, hi everybody, this is Erkis Session Season 2 brought to you by Capital Digital Cable Network and my guest artist today is someone very talented, a singer, a songwriter, uh, an artist who needs no introduction, uh, one of the best artists we have in the state, uh, one and only Nalbam Thakar. Hello. So, Tucker, welcome to Erki's session. Thank you very much for having me. And, uh, Tucker, to start with, I'm going to start with a very cliched uh, question. What first got you into music? That is a very cliched question. <laughs> very cliched question, but I wanted to know. Uh, well, I think uh, the fact that my in my family, mm -hmm. my mother uh, and my uncle's side, they're mostly into all the creative side of things. So, from sketching to uh, singing... So I think their genetic thing came came to me, mm -hmm. fortunately. And uh, back in school, I used to watch all my seniors play in school. And one of my cousin brother, who was very influential, who played a lot of guitar, rock guitar. So guitar was something that was really exciting mm -hmm. and something, an interesting in instrument for me to like... Uh, try it out you know i used to watch it on tv and i'm like okay now i need a guitar and i have to start playing music so i mean that's that was the initial push that i got was from my seniors in school and my cousin brother okay when did it all started like apne kab se shuru kiya mm. instrument play karna when did you start uh, getting so much interested into music 2002 my first guitar mila tha uh, how old were you then <laughs> 2002 basically i was 12, was it 12, yeah, 11 or 12, something okay, like that. Okay, somewhere in high school, no? Yeah, yeah, 6, I was in class 6. So, in that time, I guitar, I mean, 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 ठीक से फुसलाया फुसला के बोला होगा ठीक है पढ़ाई एकदम खराब नहीं होगा हमको गिटार एक दे दो हम प्रैक्टिस करेंगे एंड ऑल ऑफ दैट तो आई मेड ऑल द प्रॉमिसेस एंड आई स्टक टू इट या ओके सो एंड देन दे वर सपोर्टिव अबाउट इट ना नॉट फॉर टू लॉन्ग बट देन आई गेस आफ्टर अ पॉइंट आई कन्विंस देम कि नहीं लाइक यू नो आई एम म्यूजिक इज समथिंग दैट आई हैव टू लाइक वेरएवर आई एम लाइक आई एम आई एम गोना टू टेक म्यूजिक अलोंग सो आई थिंक मतलब इट्स लाइक एग्री टू डिसएग्री हो गया मतलब कर करके कर करके दे हैव एक्सेप्टेड ओके व्हाट इट्स लाइक so that's very interesting and we will be, you know, um, talking some uh, very much more interesting things about uh, Tucker. So for warming up this session, you know, we would like to have a song from you. Uh, there's a very special song called Long Way Home. Could you tell us something about this song? How did it came about? Uh, Long Way Home, uh, firstly, it was released in 2019 as a single. And... Uh, the जो main जो उसका sentiment से गाने का वो ये है कि कोई इंसान अगर घर से इतना दूर रहता है इतने इतने सालों तक दूर में रहके some kind of discrimination or you you you're homesick or something like that or you face some kind of discrimination because of where you are from and मतलब it has been challenging for some people I know some friends who have gone through like worst worst because of that and वो करके the idea behind the song was basically to Spread the message that no matter how far you are from, anything is happening, you make sure that you make your peace around your setting. You know, you don't have to go crazy. You don't have to do what everybody else is doing to you. So you make sure that you are strong enough to accept all the changes. Make make sure that you make your peace and you do whatever you wanted to do and not not lose sight of your vision. Okay. That was the idea behind writing the song, actually. Okay, that's beautiful. Yeah. And on a very positive note about the song, Long Way Home, let's listen to Long Way Home by Nabam Thakkar. There's life out there, they say You've been in a bubble to this day You are but a 
delicately designed piece And even if you break, you must make peace अगर अब तक तो आपने बहुत सारे गाने गाने गाए हैं रिकॉर्ड किया है आपने सो यू नो व्हाट काइंड ऑफ सिंगर वुड यू लाइक टू क्लासिफाई योरसेल्फ एज आई एम नॉट रियली अ सिंगर टू बी ऑनेस्ट दैट इज नॉट समथिंग दैट दैट केम टू मी फर्स्ट अच्छा फॉर मी मेरे लिए गिटार सबसे पहले आया था 
but uh, i drifted towards singing more of my songs because mm-hmm. uh, songwriting became something that i could really like uh, uh, express certain things mm-hmm. uh, through writing songs mm-hmm. through writing lyrics than just playing the guitar you know so i thought uh, singing could be something that i could i mean i was interested in it i tried to learn some of things myself and uh, picked up whatever i could okay. from internet or so it will be very interesting uh, if you could uh, give us a short journey about your you know as a musician up your you mm. you sing you write songs you play music so a brief journey about your uh, career as a musician uh like i said 2002 mm. mein maine guitar start kiya mm. uske baad uh, from 2002 onwards up until about 2010 which was my uh, school and college days mostly i was in delhi new mm. delhi mein new mm. delhi mein i was uh, part of my school band and i also was part of a heavy metal band in mm-hmm. delhi acha uska naam guillotine tha uh-huh. guillotine tha nahi matlab abhi bhi hai <laughs> just that it's not an active <laughs> band anymore so uh-huh. matlab uh, early school days matlab aisa tha ki lot of guitar competitions were there mm-hmm. jitne bhi inter school competitions mein uh, i was part of or college competition mein i was part of guitar was such a such an important instrument mm-hmm. and like you had to make sure that you you knew your parts well you practiced really well and you you were getting matlab if you're covering a song like note to note you have to know the song otherwise everybody will be like isko bajana nahi aata kaun hai something like that so wo karke karke wo jo process raha hai college or school samay mein to interesting tha from listening to pop music to rock music to lot of guitar instrumentals to heavy metal and finally uh, around college time getting a little bit into like uh, funk a uh, little bit of blues to usme thoda change ja ke change thoda taste thoda change hua usme ja ke to guitar playing abhi tak to itna intact tha kafi usme concentrate kiya slowly uh, thoda backing vocals pe bhi matlab interest aaya mm-hmm. then uh, i noticed that whenever i was on a journey whenever i was traveling or whenever i was uh, let's say if i had something that was bothering me if i try to pen it down it was i felt really like mm-hmm. i felt light you know mujhe aisa laga ki main ek karke mujhe khud ko ek satisfaction ek relief mil raha hai so that became my thing like ki, okay except guitar playing what else can i do so songwriting was something that i started enjoying mm-hmm. start writing lyrics and and i wasn't probably the best lyricist not yet as <laughs> as, as of now also but uh, as long as i can convey songs that uh, convey the emotions of what i was going through a certain time i think that's the whole point and uh, uske baad um, from college onwards still uh, going to a little bit of music school one for one year i was there songwriting i explored more of songwriting mm-hmm. and then ever since then i've been writing songs which has guitar playing as well but uh, lyrics and singing as well so yeah okay so tucker again this is this will be a very cliche question again but you know i really wanted to know it from you okay. what is the process of your songwriting this is uh, <laughs> another cliche question yes. right another really really cliche <laughs> question really cl- cl- oh, cliche yeah. but you know uh, we non musicians you know as a question he hame I uh, like we really want want to know these things from uh, the uh, musicians we follow it's, it's you know it's all it's all right in fact uh, <laughs> it's not just it, i won't say it's cliche <laughs> but it's a, it, these questions are sometimes very difficult uh-huh. or, like uh, difficult to answer because the uh, songwriting process is like there's no stick for like set formula ki mm-hmm. aaj uh, lyrics ho gaya to usme music dal diya mm-hmm. ya music pehle aaya lyrics so mm-hmm. there's no formula mm-hmm. so it's not mm-hmm. like a plus b equal to b plus mm-hmm. a or something mm-hmm. like that it's really like uh, या तो आपको लिरिक्स पहले आया या तो आपको एक ट्यून पहले आया सो समटाइम्स सम ऑफ द आइडियाज दे फ्लो वेरी नेचुरली मतलब कि यू आर यू आर इंस्पायर्ड और यू आर चार्ज अप एंड यू आर गोइंग थ्रू सम इमोशनल थिंग और समथिंग लाइक दैट समथिंग स्ट्रॉगली यू फील अबाउट एंड देन यू पिक दप पिक अप द इंस्ट्रूमेंट और यू ट्राई टू राइट समथिंग जो भी आपको सबसे स्ट्रॉग अगर आपका एक पॉइंट मतलब मे बी वट वट टू से लाइक द एंकर ऑफ द सॉन्ग सो यू टेक दैट एंड देन यू स्टार्ट टू बिल्ड अराउंड बिल्ड अराउंड इट so uh, usually what happens is either your ideas are flowing and if ideas are not flowing what happens is apne aaj kuch likh liya and then for a year or two years you will forget like you wrote something about that mm-hmm. so sometimes it's also very important that uh, you have to sit and like you know you have like like i said you have something you written or you have some made something and then you work around that you spend a lot of time and you force yourself to make something that you want out of that you know so sometimes i guess it's like uh, 
uh, very natural, very uh, like things are flowing very naturally. Sometimes you really have to force it out of you. What mm. what is it that you see? Okay. Yeah. That's that's really interesting. And Thakur, if I have observed that you know languages that you prefer to sing or make music, you mm. sing Hindi in Hindi. Uh, Hindi I have not done any songs yet. Okay, I have done Hindi. But you speak good Hindi. Bolte ho. That's why I was wondering ki, अभी तक हमने कि वो आपसे हिंदी गाने नहीं सुने हैं, but you sing English और recently you have also started singing uh, Nishi songs, uh-huh. local dialect जो है, तो hmm. एक uh, गाना है, it's called Nyokum Sokhito, hmm. correct me if I pronounce it wrong, Nyokum Sokhito, so te- yeah, uh, first tell me uh, उसका meaning क्या है and how uh, did this song came about? तो ये भी एक्चुअली बहुत बहुत किस्टिसी क्वेश्चन है क्योंकि ये पूछ चुके बहुत बार बट न्योकुम जो फेस्टिवल है हमारे निशी कल्चर में बहुत मतलब इट्स एन इम्पोर्टेंट वेरी इम्पोर्टेंट फेस्टिवल न्योक न्योक न्योकुम इज बेसिकली टू वर्ड्स न्योक एंड कुम सो न्योक इज योर लैंड एंड कुम इज गैदरिंग न्योकुम फेस्टिवल इज सेलिब्रेटेड एवरी ईयर इन द मंथ ऑफ फेबररी एंड वी डू दिस फॉर प्रेइंग फॉर गुड हार्वेस्ट and for overall stability of our universe and nature mm-hmm. so matlab uh, it's something that's very uh, uh, sentimental or of great significance to our nishi society mm-hmm. so that is the reason why i uh, wanted to write something on those lines and in fact i would write want to credit uh, the uh, the lyricist who helped me write this song mr stephen toku mm-hmm. he's a um, he's a translator and uh, he writes uh, a lot of uh, nishi poetry Achha. and he does translations mm-hmm. you should definitely check him out mm-hmm. uh, so i i i took his help to uh, finish my song uh, and uh, like i said it's something very significant to our society mm-hmm. and i wanted to do something for it because i was away from from home for about 20 years Achha. so when i came back i wanted to uh, do something you know i felt connected and i wanted to do something about the roots of uh, our society our nishi culture and and that was just my you know my initial uh, i set my initial foot into this by writing a song about that basically okay that's again yeah. very interesting and <laughs> uh, paying tribute to you know our heritage and culture and traditions let's listen to nyokum sokhito by navam thakur
Tito Talenyoni 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 Tagar, you perform, you know, you perform gigs uh, at many places. And then there's uh, two songs of yours, I think, called Hello and Receding, which even featured at VH1. So tell me something about these songs and how did you feel getting featured in a big platform like VH1? It felt amazing, <laughs> of course. It goes without saying. To see my music videos, mm -hmm. that we really worked hard with the entire team to mm -hmm. get the production bit done and then to get it to VH1, which is another mammoth of a task, mm. you have to do so much of groundwork, getting your papers and going to censorship board mm. and getting your uh, censorship copy and then getting it done. It was really satisfying. And that too, uh, my when my second song came out on VH1, I didn't even know it was coming out. I mean, I, I gave the application for that, but uh, I didn't know when it was going to be aired. So somebody had sent me like a recording through a phone whatsapp or like tag me on instagram and i was like oh okay this song is already and up, did you watch yourself on, on yeah. vh1 and um <laughs> i did watch my first song hello okay which is from my first album and receding from is from the second album so uh the first time was uh, okay I, I was like okay then this mm. is a little unreal <laughs> that this is happening seeing your music on tv mm. and uh Here's this guy who used to watch TV and be like, okay, when am I going to make it to true, TV true. and stuff? I mean, it's it's overwhelming, mm -hmm. humbling, overwhelming. And also then you feel that, okay, right, you got these two down. Now you got to do something more. You know, you got to keep doing interesting stuff, interesting videos and put it out as much as you can. And uh, yeah, I mean, fortunately, got a lot of people who were not uh, my listeners already. So I got to meet a lot of other li other listeners from other part of the country. So it was interesting, yeah. And you, adding to that, you also performed at New York. Yeah. So tell me how was the experience and uh, what uh, what were the feedbacks you got from the people out there? I was really nervous, to mm. be honest. <laughs> U.S. Mein ja ke to play your music because I'm uh, never... It's always like we see artists from the U.S. coming mm. here playing or mm. we see them on TV. Mm. So it's never like the other way around, not so much when, let's say, an independent artist gets to perform outside, you know. So I don't know, maybe I, I was th thinking too much ki how they are going to perceive this whole thing, like, you know, what is it going to be. But it was really surprising. It was really good because people were people are really used to there's this culture of going out and checking out new artists mm -hmm. and like, you know, going and supporting artists. Surprisingly, there were a lot of people who came for, uh, especially my So Far Sounds gig mm. in Brooklyn. That was a nice gig where a lot of people came and I didn't know anybody there <laughs> and nobody from India mm. also. Mm -hmm. And everybody was asking me, Ki, where is this Arunachal Pradesh? And my first answer is like, uh, well, you know where India is. <laughs> Just go like extreme northeast <laughs> and right there. Uh, it's uh, between China, Myanmar and Bhutan. And they're like, oh, okay, 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 interesting. And they're At like, at least okay. they pretend. Yeah, they're like, uh, okay, okay. I, 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 I guess your geography is not as bad. 
एंड उसके बाद मतलब दे काइंड ऑफ गॉट दी आइडिया कि कहाँ पे है एग्जैक्टली पता चल गया कि इंडिया में है ना एंड दे लाइक इज इट इन नेपाल नो ब्रो इट्स नॉट इन नेपाल नेपाल से थोड़ा दूर है यू इट्स इट्स क्लोज बाय देयर सो मतलब ऑनेस्टली ओवरऑल द एक्सपीरियंस वॉज रियली ओवरवेलमिंग एंड लर्निंग ऑल्सो बिकॉज दैट फियर दैट बाहर जाके कैसे हाउ दे आर गोइंग टू परसीव योर म्यूजिक इवेंचुअली इट्स लाइक whether you can convey your performance your 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 thought or whatever you want to say through your music if you can connect to people mm-hmm. regardless of whatever language you're singing mm-hmm. or wherever you are performing i think people understand mm-hmm. they can connect to the energy okay and that is something uh, which is which is something that i kind of uh, learn so much more when i mm-hmm. perform there yeah so i'm also really keen to know takar which were the songs you performed there i did uh, perform my nishi songs acha uh, nyokum song and the sangbe yore the ones that i released mm-hmm. and uh, i did uh, my english songs too Res- uh, i did melodrama mm-hmm. long way home um uh, melodrama long way home hello and i had some i also played a couple of new songs which i have not released yet mm-hmm. one of them called good night so you'll be hearing them in a couple of months okay. hopefully yeah anticipating you know yeah <laughs> song and and uh, what were the uh, reaction from the people uh, regarding is it okay english to chalega like everybody spoke english there so what about the nishi song like were they keen uh, to know about the language or the uh, meaning of the song as a kuch feedback uh, when i was uh, i'll tell you my first gig uh, <laughs> was in brooklyn so when i was doing my sound check i sang in I sang a little bit of uh, Sangbe Yure mm-hmm. and people were like oh what is this like you mm-hmm. know they were so in- intrigued I see like a bartender who is like uh-huh. make busy making <laughs> drinks and suddenly when I sing in uh, the Nishi dialect they're like oh what's going on like mm-hmm. you know they were actually interested mm-hmm. very intrigued so out of the two Nishi song I think the Sangbe Yure was one that they really felt like okay like this song it feels like you're trying to say something like really uh, deep or meaningful and stuff mm-hmm. so i i guess music wise or maybe the way i was singing or it, for what it was the overall energy of that the people really connected it mm-hmm. to it so much yeah mm-hmm. so tagar on that note let's listen to sangbe yure yeah. theek hai yeah. so this is uh, a beautiful song called sangbe yure let's listen to it no hugue hogna kang no kado nu ching ma kaj ma har kado ngo hugue hog na kang nu kado nu ching ma kanang ma ba nu ka to urun aku ba no ka to no ka ki to mulen ka ki to lachin pa nyu to ho ha to nit mo na ga no mo i to nam aku kam ma bhu ma mo san Tari 
Takar, you have to forgive me for another very cliched question, but this is very important uh, for me to know, for your fans to know, for the audience to know. Um, you know, uh, who inspired to make music? Uh, did you draw inspiration from any musician uh, that you idolized? Ah, okay. I'm not forgiving you for this. <laughs> like, not forgiven. Uh, yes, I have a lot of influences mm -hmm. from different styles. So, I have never seen you. जॉनर स्पेसिफिकली रिस्ट्रिक्ट नहीं किया था जैसे मैंने पहले बोला माय म्यूजिक लिस्टिंग वेरीड फ्रॉम लेट्स से पॉप रॉक टू मेटल टू इवन टू लाइक ब्लूज इट हैज इवॉल्व्ड ओवर द इयर्स या एंड देन आई गोट इनटू लिटिल बिट ऑफ जैज स्टडीड ऑल ऑफ द लिटिल बिट ऑफ दैट नाउ डेज इट्स I mean, it just depends on mood. Like, how am I feeling about a certain thing, and do I want to hear something soft? Do I want to hear something loud? So, do I want to hear something very mellow? Like, mm -hmm. so it it really varies. <clears throat> But I I guess over the years, some very notable artists that I grew up listening to would be uh, John Mayer would be one of them mm -hmm. definitely. Uh, Porcupine Tree was one of the artists that I really liked. Uh, then you have uh, bands like Extreme, Incubus, mm -hmm. uh, even Brian Adams. I checked out a lot mm -hmm. in the uh, in my earlier times. Backseat Boys, <laughs> Bon Jovi. I mean, the list goes on and on. And mm -hmm. I heard a lot of uh, great guitar players afterwards, like Wes Montgomery, um, Kurt Rosenwinkel, Derek Trucks, and uh, yeah, I mean, it's a long list basically. Mm -hmm. So I mean, like I said, it's never been confined to a mm -hmm. specific genre. Mm -hmm. Yeah. See, Tucker, you guys like uh, I've met couple of artists uh, before you, and you you guys are the one who are creating a paradigm shift in the uh, music scenario in Arunachal Pradesh. So tell me, how has uh, music scenario evolved in Arunachal Pradesh? आपने तो जल्दी start किया है. So how do you see <coughs> it's uh, you know how has it evolved mm -hmm. over the years? uh over the years okay the fact that we are doing this interview <laughs> and there is something called a tea session it's great like you know it, and it's focusing around music good one <laughs> it was never there was nothing like this before uh -huh. i i guess uh, even before i was born or whatever no not that i heard people talk so much about music you know uh nowadays i see a lot of artists who are uh, writing original songs mm -hmm. or their level of talent is so much more than what mm -hmm. we used to hear like mm -hmm. 10 years before mm -hmm. and i think although we do not have lot of avenues where we can have live performance regular live performances mm -hmm. or we don't have a culture where people will like pay entry and go to gig they still be people will still be like uh, yaar guest list mein dal do na entry mein kara like you know and all of that i think that needs that will change over time it's going to take But some time but i think time. the scene is changing now <coughs> it is it has changed mm -hmm. i mean for the good uh, and we have something called Arunachal Independent Musicians Forum, mm. which uh, AIMF. is AIMF. Yeah, so AIMF. Uh, me and a couple of my friends, Teji, Hagai, Nisham, Sony, Dambi, Caro, all of us, we started uh, about a year ago, mm -hmm. and uh, we have been trying to uh, focus the energy of the young artists 
uh, including ourselves. Mm. Pardon us if we're calling <laughs> ourselves too young right now, but uh, us and some other independent artists who are not in the main mainstream limelight playing mainstream music, indie music to be precise, indie indie music or independent artists. We are channelizing their energy and trying to put them, give them, give them slots where they can perform and like you know maybe feel inspired to take this forward. And we did manage to put together about uh, seven to eight gigs in 2019. Mm. 2020 started really nicely with one performance uh, with the two bands from Chilong. One was Andrea Taryang and Blue Achoo. Temptation. And we pulled it off quite nicely and our AIMF band also played. And uh, talking about the challenges that the artists face. So uh, can you highlight some of the challenges that artists, especially from Arunachal, face? Mm. Like I said, avenues. Okay. I mean, performance ke liye itne venues nahi hai. Financial, of course. Mm -hmm. You need like for any scene to thrive, finan financial interjection is needed. Otherwise, uh, it's not possible, and people don't see like people don't know where it's going gonna go, uh, whether it's going to be sustainable for them or not. Mm -hmm. It becomes a question of whether it's for them. It's just about passion, or it's actually like they want to make a living out of this. So for a lot of people, it's uh, in the metros and all. They're surviving with just performing music uh, or giving lessons mm -hmm. or something like that. Everything revolving around music. Mm -hmm. so I, I would say, like answering to your previous question, that it has evolved to a point where people consider the path of taking music seriously. Mm -hmm. It's not like. Uh, uh, a hobby anymore so people want to take these things seriously so i guess uh, uh we need a culture which i as i'm saying like it's evolving you know mm -hmm. it's evolving it's getting it's getting there slowly where people uh, support the local scene people listen to the artists mm -hmm. people go to the performances people buy their merchandise people pay for mm -hmm. the entry of the gigs for the gigs and people uh, make sure that they give all their love and uh, uh, attention to the artist here mm. because that's how it's going to thrive mm. and we as artists I mean we're always looking for some kind of validation or some mm. kind of a, a positive response Be, even if it's negative if people are listening and responding to you that's, that's great you know mm. As long as that kind of interaction and exchange of energy is taking place. Mm. Yeah. I think we are going, going good uh, for now right on that. On yeah that so note. far so good I so would far, say. So good. Yeah. And uh, Thakur, you have crea already created a niche for yourself in the you know music arena in our state. But if I had to ask you, what do you think? Again, don't forgive me if it's very cliched, but again, this is a very important <laughs> question that I really wanted to ask you. What do you think are the essential qualities uh, that a musician should have? According I mean, to you. I mean, it, it really depends on what kind of musician are you. Like, okay. you know, are you the so, kind so, who... Uh, so according to you, for you. For me, I mean, I feel that uh, it's really important that you work on your craft regularly. You work on your basics. Mm. You practice, you do your vocal warm-ups, you do your guitar exercises, whatever instrument you play. And do them, like, sincerely, you know. Because you give time to the instrument, you give time to your vocal cords. You make you make your effort, you, do, you, you put in all your effort to make things work for you. And it's going to... These things will happen naturally, like, you know, it will happen to you. But if you don't practice, you don't expect magic to happen, you know, mm -hmm. simple as that. Well said. And uh, on that note, I have this very, <coughs> uh, another very, I, I don't know, very interesting song that I've picked. It's called Independent Root yeah. from you. So tell me something about this song. Uh, it just talks about my times in Delhi while mm -hmm. I was away from home for so long. Uh, just that whole journey, like, mm -hmm. you know, put into one song, basically. And how uh, music and my friends played such a such an important role in my life. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so that the song is about that basically. Okay, I think yeah. and this is going to be a very inspiring song for many youths out there. So let's so, listen yeah. to this song for now. So this is Independent Root by Nabam Thakur. <laughs> <laughs> Still a storm brew over this hill With no hand to hold and a light to guide Found a shelter only to hide 
custodian presents so rare. Yet I never cease to care. Some past, some remain. You were always on my mind as I walked this independent Sides of coin tossed and caught by hands but mine This whistling wind had whispered my name The door had opened like an invitation Your uh, your music is, uh, you know, all about your journey, your experience, and you love writing songs, and you have performed your originals at many places, gigs at many places. Uh, you know, uh, tell me which is uh, which song do you like to perform best? Like any favorite? Mm, it really depends on uh, the situation, the scenario. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I make a set list. Mm -hmm. But then I, when I look at the <laughs> audience or look at how people are responding to certain things, I change the songs. Like, you know, I'm like, okay, let's not do this. Let's just, let's say if it's like a close setting where mm -hmm. uh, a lot of people want to hear, hear mm -hmm. me sing. Um, Hello would be one of them. Okay. Table for Two. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, those are from my first, first album. And from the second album, uh, I like to play for like, when, when it comes to, let's say, playing to a, a mellow, attentive audience, melodrama would mm. be one of them. Mm -hmm. And then when it serves, when I get a good audience where people are more energetic, they're upbeat and they want to hear something upbeat and up-tempo and stuff, so it would be Independent Route, Receding, Long Way Home, uh, maybe Nyokum Song, Nyokum Sokito. Even Sangbe Yure is good for the okay. small setting. Yeah. I ask you your favorite and you are listing all your songs. So basically, yeah, it means you love all your songs. Uh, <laughs> this is like uh, cheap tactics of marketing my song. 
Pardon me for that. Yeah. That was interesting. And uh, if Thakur, you would be given opportunity to collaborate with, you know, any artist <coughs> in the world, you know, whom would you like to collaborate with or work with? Wow. Now that is not a cliche <laughs> question. And I'm gonna take all your sorries for uh, the previous cliche so questions. I'm making up for the cliche questions that I ask. So tell me, you can, you can give me a long list if you want. Wow. Which are the artists you would like to collaborate with, or you know, uh, perhaps work with, or sing with? Absolutely, very very interesting question. <laughs> and uh, I've seen so many artists, and I'm like, okay, yes, I have to play with them. Chala, I have to, chala, play, I have to, play, I have to play. Okay. It's actually really difficult to think, <laughs> but let me uh, let me think. Let me think. Almost about two decades or so, when I was listening to, uh, when I started listening to English music, mm-hmm. I had a dream that I was singing alongside Westlife. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> it was it was really funny because when the next day when I woke up, I woke up smiling. I'm uh-huh. like, oh shit, why am I so happy? Like you know, I, it was like then I'm so like, yeah, why exactly? And then I realized that shit, I sang with Westlife in my dream. That was. That was my first time when I actually thought, "Ki acha, matlab aise bhi like you have these, what do you say? Like the, uh, you're so, you so badly want to be mm. part of some project or you want to play with some artist. If you ask me from the current situation, there are some really amazing artists. Uh, let's say who I would like to collab with. Uh, maybe Anderson Park. Anderson Park is a rapper and mm. a drummer. He's he's so cool he's so amazing maybe i want to play jam on a couple of songs mm-hmm. with him tom mish another mm-hmm. very new artist uh, plays a lot of guitar and uh, he does a lot, lot of interesting electronic stuff along mm-hmm. uh, uh, so the thing is that the artist if the artist is too good it <laughs> becomes very difficult because you might end up sounding so bad in front of them so you what might is get intimidated you know yeah absolutely you'll get intimidated <laughs> you'll get intimidated who are the other artists uh, mm. you know i'm coming i'm coming back to that in our next session we'll do that on erkis session season 3 okay you keep on thinking <laughs> oh really okay 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 <laughs> that okay. would be nice and i have i have enough enough time <laughs> you have then. enough time to think over it okay that's fair, that's fair yeah. <laughs> and uh, dakar you have performed uh, at various places uh, gigs at uh, various places uh, mm. India me India ke bahar Arunachal me so uh, can you mention maybe a very memorable uh, performance of yours mm. most memorable most Let's memorable okay one of them would be zero festival of music 2016 any specific reason not 16 that was 2015 that is big, that was the first gig where i performed singing Achha. my songs okay, okay and that was the first gig where people saw me play acoustic guitar mm. for a change and not mm. going to stage and trying mm. to play all the mm. fast mm. guitar related stuff so that was a like you know shift in the overall live performing experience for me so it was something very very different uh and something very new for me mm-hmm. zero festival of music 2015 mm-hmm. Besides that, I think two thousand eighteen NH seven weekender. Mm-hmm. It was a really, it was a really nice gig because, I mean, I was given a st- small stage to play, and I was like, okay, I wanted to play a big stage, mm-hmm. but somehow it didn't work out in the overall uh, programming of the event. But surprisingly, there were so many people who were there to listen to the music. Uh, it was, it was very special. Like I didn't mm-hmm. expect. <laughs> it's like when you uh, have very little expectation about mm-hmm. something, and sometimes. बहुत कुछ एक अच्छा ही हो जाता है एंड देन शेड इट्स वे मच बेटर देन आई थॉट इट्स गोइंग टू बी दीज टू गिग्स एंड देर आर देर आर सम वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग क्लब गिग्स वेर पीपल वर वेरी अटेंटिव एंड इट फेल्ट देर वॉज सम कनेक्ट विद द ऑडियंस वेन आई वॉज परफॉर्मिंग वन ऑफ दैम वॉज वॉज एट दिस वॉज इन सिक्किम आई थिंक सिक्किम वी प्ले दैट वॉट वॉज दैट प्लेस इन गैंग टॉक आई एम सो सॉरी आई फॉर दिन एम जी रोड आई फॉर वॉट द नेम आई फॉर वॉट द नेम बट इट वॉज इन वन ऑफ द मेन हैपनिंग एरियाज ओनली वॉट वॉज दैट प्लेस शेट आई कैन इवन हेल्प यू विद दैट बिकॉज इन आई नेवर बीन टू सिक्किम सो ठीक है सो देर वॉज वन ऑफ योर वन ऑफ योर मेमोरेबल दैट वॉज बी वन ऑफ द मेमोरेबल परफॉर्मेंसेज एंड एक्चुअली देर आर सो मेनी मोर बट 
I really have to like get in deep deep in there and like I have to think about which year was what and you know I have to try to rethink. So yeah. Okay, Taka, tell me if you weren't into music, what what do you think you would be doing? Dancing. Really? No, you I'm, dance as well? I'm kidding. I'm really bad at it. <laughs> no, on uh, a serious note, I would like to know. If you don't do music, then what are you doing? I would probably be studying engineering. I would have studied engineering and <laughs> like... Very cliched uh, again. Yeah, I mean, you know. I'm for Arunachal, you know. Engineering and... Because uh, I, I did my engineering coaching, you know. Mm-hmm. And I was uh, I was heavily... Maybe it was the whole circle I was mm-hmm. surrounded by. Mm-hmm. My friends were like, sub log engineering coaching they were doing and mm-hmm. they were like... Even though they were not very studious, but they mm-hmm. were like really good, mm-hmm. like extremely intelligent. Mm-hmm. And for me, like who's like second generation studying <laughs> in school, trying to catch up to their level, it was something. Mm-hmm. It was very intimidating. So engineering coaching me, I may go there. After that, the class twelfth, uh, after that, I I was getting a chance to study at uh, one of the prestigious Delhi College of Engineering. Mm-hmm. But uh, because I don't know, like it was their counselling and all of that got. postponed by 7 8 months mm-hmm. and during that time i had already joined delhi mm-hmm. university i mm-hmm. was like no i'm not going to do engineering i'm going to stick to delhi university mm-hmm. uh play uh, play music be a part of the music society so that's when the shift happened for me like drastic shift otherwise i would have been one of the i guess a civil engineer right uh-huh. now or something like that <laughs> maybe making a lot of money actually mm-hmm. but no no <laughs> but you're so glad that you know you you did not become an engineer and we have you as an artist हमारा फायदा हो गया सो चलते चलते टाकर यू नो सिंस आई ऑब्जर्व यू यू हैव बीन वेरी एक्सप्रेसिव वेरी फिलोसफिकल तो चलते चलते माई लास्ट क्वेश्चन ये होगा कि आई एम गोइंग टू गिव यू अ लाइन एंड यू कमेंट ऑन इट ठीक है सो दैट्स म्यूजिक ट्रांसफॉर्म लाइफ काइंडली कमेंट ऑन इट No, I have to give one line, right? No, no, you have to comment on it. Maybe you can you can be philosophical and explain about it. I'm just giving you music transform lives. Comment. Mm, music transform. It has transformed me for sure. I mean, it's made me into a much more calmer and peaceful person. Mm-hmm. And the way I, the way I've seen a lot of my uh, friends and my f- relatives who are not into music, I give them music, and things have changed. Like people have become really much more sensitive. I would say. Okay, very very witty uh, answer to that. And Tucker, <laughs> there are many uh, people, young musicians. They look up to you for sure, and they would like to have some piece of advice. So, chalte chalte, maybe for your fans and for the budding musicians, any piece of advice you would like to have for them? Yeah, practice. Just mm-hmm. practice a lot. <laughs> practice till the point you're like, okay, I'm I'm almost to the point of perfection. If you feel that, still practice harder, and keep writing music. Make just work on your craft, like you know, just. keep working on it working on it till you are like satisfied and you think that yes this can be at the global level you know not just my small circle or something yeah that's that's really great and thank you so much for coming to erki studio uh, erki session takar yeah. it was a pleasure having you around thank you my pleasure thank you so much erki session and thanks to you as well for having me So for all the weavers uh, watching Erki's uh, session season three, I hope you like this session as much as I did. Thank you so much for tuning in. Keep watching Erki's session. Keep watching Capital Digital Cable Network. Still a storm brew over this hill With no hand to hold and a light to guide Found a shelter only to hide The custodian presence so rare Yet I never cease to care Some past, some remain You were always